Hello and welcome to week four of remote learning. Uh, this week I am coming to you from uh, the indoor pool. You know, it was warm at the beginning of the week. I was hoping that we could do this from the outdoor pool. Um, but that's okay. Um, it's nice to look at, uh, which is good because this is kind of a long video. Um, you know me, I like to talk. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to kind of get out there was I was going to try something a little bit new with office hours. And uh, instead of trying to explain that all right now, um, I made a different video to go through that. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to me. Hello. Um, by the way, that, that is a lovely pool. So kudos. Um, okay, so office hours, I'm changing them a little bit. So let's kind of take a look at that real quick. So um, not a whole lot of, of this has changed. Um, you know, Mondays, typically I am pretty busy with meetings and things, but um, if you needed to try to contact me, you could email me if we really need to meet on something, um, we could. Um, and that really goes for any of these times when it says email only if, you know, we need to meet and it's technically out of my office hours, but we really needed to touch base about something, I never mind. Um, I might not be able to, but if you email me and we need to chat or uh, touch base on things, I can. Uh, I am going to um, continue to use Zoom now. I just, I like a lot of the parts of it better. And the district now has an official educational version of it. And so I'm going to continue to use Zoom. And then I'll talk about these appointments uh, in just a moment. And then finally, with the whole, you know, work being due on Friday, you know, technically I would really like it by Friday. It gives me an opportunity to kind of grade it through the weekend. And that way by Monday, um, you have a pretty good idea of where you stand with grades. But I also believe that the um, school implied Sunday night was the technical due date. And so um, you can turn in your work as late as Sunday night. Just understand if you don't get it in by Friday afternoon, I'm not going to be able to help you over the weekend. And so if you get stuck, you get stuck. And um, also, if it is a worksheet that you're allowed to correct and get points back, but you turn it in on Sunday night, you're not going to get that opportunity. So um, keep those things in mind um, when you're thinking about getting your work done for the week. All right, and then what is new is this reserve appointment link that you'll see. And this is what it's going to open up to. And, and honestly, I'm not trying to be more confusing with all this stuff, although it may be, and I apologize. Um, so let me kind of explain this. Monday, again, you know, upon request, I could possibly meet. But then on Tuesday morning and Thursday morning, as well as Wednesday afternoon and Friday afternoon, um, the first hour, so from like 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., just stop by Zoom if you um, need any help. So I always post that link in the daily attendance. So just stop by, no reservation or anything required. Um, but what I also found was it's a little bit awkward and weird if I'm trying to help one student and then you come into the chat and you're kind of waiting to get help on something else. So I'm gonna try, and I don't know if this is gonna be helpful or not or if it makes it more complicated, but what I was gonna try is if you wanna reserve a half hour time here or here on Tuesday morning, or you know on Wednesday you could reserve a half hour here or here or here, you can log in and you can type in your name to reserve that time with me. So that way you don't have to worry about me trying to help someone else and you can just get your own time. If you are you know, embarrassed about making help on something um, or, or you'd rather just get the one-on-one -on -one help, you can sign up for those times. And that way I can kind of give you all my attention. Um, so I'm gonna try it. I'm not getting that many students into office hours anyway. And so I thought this might be a nice way for you to be able to manage your time and know exactly when you're gonna be able to get help from me. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna hopefully not have to change it around a bunch uh, again, but um, I wanted to give this a shot and uh, see how it goes. So let me know if you have any questions about that, but I'll be checking this request form daily to see um, who's signed up and when, so that way I can make sure I'm available to you. Um, that's it for, for here, so I'm gonna send it back to me. Nice job, uh, that's a good video. Congrats to me. Uh, one last thing before moving on, um, I just wanted to uh, reach out and let you know that you can communicate to, uh, with me at any point about anything. I know that some of you are having some trouble with some of these concepts that we've been covering, um, but not many of you have taken advantage of office hours or tried to reach out to me and get help. So, you know, as this uh, continues on, I think it's gonna be really important to communicate um, or even just communicate that you're doing okay. Um, so please take advantage of office hours and email and Google chat and all of those ways of communicating with me. So with that, let's move on to week four. Uh, week four has four assignments um, to get through. Assignment number one has two parts. Um, it's a review of endothermic and exothermic 
as well as cue calculations. So the first assignment is just a video going over some of the problems that were more missed uh, on the worksheets last week. And then the um, second component is just a little five question review worksheet. And I would get that done. I'm gonna to try to grade them pretty quickly um, and pay attention to that grade going into the grade book because that's gonna kind of let you know if you're ready to move on to assignment number two or not. Uh, if you're not ready, I would maybe try to get some help through office hours before moving on to assignment number two. So then assignment number two is a video submission. Um, it's really, instead of giving you uh, a quiz or another worksheet, we thought this was a good way to try to assess whether you really understand endothermic and exothermic as well as cube calculations. What you need to do for that is, uh, there's two parts. The first part is to take a video uh, of yourself and something around your house or outside that's an endothermic process. And you can't just take a video, explain while you're taking that video um, how this represents an endothermic. You'll need to do the same thing for an exothermic. Um, and make sure that you're, you're trying to use an example that we haven't used before, at least on a worksheet. I did go through a number of examples in the PowerPoint, so I'm okay if you um, want to use one of those, but just make sure you're really explaining. Uh, I would use words like system and surroundings and, and heat flow to make sure that it's clear that you understand the application of endothermic and exothermic. The second part is going to be a Q calculation, and you can choose one that we've already worked through, you can make up your own and get creative with it. You can even find them uh, online. But the idea is you need to video yourself working through it and explaining your thinking as you go through it. So um, even if you were to find something on, on the internet that already has answers, you need to be able to explain and show me um, that you can really handle doing a Q calculation. So, you know, with all of this, please make sure that you're not you know, not trying to explain it to me, but explain it to, you know, uh, a parent or a sister or a brother or a random seventh grader. So you really want to go into enough depth that I know that you really um, understand uh, the concepts here. Um, the video doesn't have to be all that long. You can even submit multiple videos, however this is going to work, whether it's on your phone or a Chromebook or something. Um, but it's important to us that we can actually hear and see that you're understanding this material instead of just random Google Forms. So that is assignment number two. And then assignment number three is another video lecture. This is new material for this week. Um, it's on a concept called entropy and then connecting that concept of entropy to what we've already learned about enthalpy. Uh, I think that video is about 17 minutes. Um, go through that carefully because then your last assignment, number four, is another online video worksheet. We kind of like the visuals that go along with those online worksheets through Edpuzzle. Uh, there's 10 total questions, but eight of them are gonna show you a video and then um, present uh, some kind of reaction or equation to you. And you need to predict whether there's an increase in entropy or a decrease in entropy. So it'll be important that you've gone through um, those uh, notes in assignment number three that you understand those concepts before you attempt the worksheet. Um, there's two more questions uh, as part of that, which is kind of ask you to clarify your thinking. So as always, please let me know if there's anything I can do to help um, or you just want to say hi. And um, other than that, as always, uh, please stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.